Hey everyone, it's Ann from What's Up Family Home, and today I have another collab for you. And this one is with Ellie at DIY from House to Home Kitchen Edition. And we are doing a fall dessert challenge. And this is going to be a pecan praline pie bark. And I've got butter here. It calls for one cup of butter. It calls for two sleeves or 20 honey graham crackers. I don't have that many, but we're going to make it work. It calls for a cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, and one and a half cups of chopped pecans. I have a Rims baking sheet with full, and I'm going to spray the pan, and I'm going to lay out the graham crackers on the pan. So I'm just going to go ahead and line this with the graham crackers. And this kind of reminds me of a similar recipe that I've seen called Christmas Crack. And I have never made it before, and I really want to. So I thought, I saw this recipe, and it looked really good. So I thought, why not make this? I even thought about making or putting some of those club crackers on here. Because I've seen people use those or the saltine crackers in the Christmas crack. So. But I think I'm just going to make a smaller version. Still use the same measurements. I just won't go all the way to the very end. And I think it'll work out just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lay that there. I'll just break these off. And line them up over here and I think that will work just fine. Okay, I've got my cup of butter in here it's gonna melt and I've got a cup of brown sugar and I've got my burner turned on and we're gonna melt this together and when it comes up to a boil we will stir it for two minutes and I hope you guys will go and check out Ellie's channel she is a really sweet girl she has a great cooking channel as well as a great DIY channel so I hope after you watch her channel and you'll like and subscribe and then go check out all the other great ladies in this collab. So I'll bring you back when this melts and we'll get close. And when we're close. Okay, my butter is almost melted. And it said to turn it to medium heat. And just let it boil for two minutes. And I'm just going to keep stirring. And I'll bring you back in two minutes. Okay, it has boiled for two minutes. My oven's heated to 350. That's a good reminder. So I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. I've got all these new appliances and they all sing to me every time they're done. And I'm gonna add one and a half cups of the pecans. I say pecans. Some people say pecans. Which one do you say? Alrighty. Okay, I'm gonna turn you around and now we're gonna pour this mixture over the crackers. It's thickened up just a little bit, but oh my goodness, the smell. It smells so good. So I'm gonna try and evenly pour these over. Mm. I could just eat that with a spoon. Try and get the ends over there. Try to get as much of that goodness out of there as I can. I'm gonna spread this as even as I can get it over the crackers. This just smells like fall with all the butter and the pecans and the 
vanilla. Mm. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the oven for 10 minutes and I'll come back in 10 minutes and show you the finished product. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. This looks like a pecan pie. It looks amazing. And I'm gonna let it cool off and I'll come back and then we'll break it apart. I'm gonna go ahead and try and break it apart. It's cool enough. Mm. Look at that. Looks amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. That was an amazing dessert. And I'll definitely be making that again. And I know my family will love it. And I want to thank Ellie again from DIY from House to Home for hosting the collab. I really enjoyed it. I really love fall desserts. I mean, I think the fall is the best time for any kind of dessert, especially when it's when it's cold outside. But I want to thank her again. I'll have her both her channels linked below as well as the playlist. So you watch her video and then go watch all the other ladies and get some good inspiration for some more fall dessert recipe ideas. So I hope to see you guys again in the next video.